going on YouTube my name is Athino and welcome back to another map guide I've not made this map guide in years years guys it's been a while but we're finally back we've been doing a lot of tip videos stream highlights but we're back to the map guides and I'm gonna be producing a lot more of these because um, it's very highly requested so let's get right into Outback defense so uh, Outback defense you need the, th the three tips I will give you right off the bat map knowledge two uh try to predict where the enemy is coming from and three hold your ground and stay alive we're gonna pick smoke off for this one i know i pick smoke a lot but smoke is really easy to kind of explain the basic stuff so you know obviously you want to get these two reinforced goes to reinforce uh the third wall do not reinforce off this third wall don't even make it a rotation leave it soft but you want to blow out the top you want to blow up the top so you can't see over it, but you can stand on top of this and you get the long angle onto here. That's the main point of opening this up. So you can also toss smokes over when they're planting pretty safely. Um, put barbed wire. Uh, if you don't have barbed wire, you don't really know how to put it. Put it at the doorway. Do not put that barbed wire right here because that allows the enemies to walk in here and get the angles on you. It's too late. This barbed wire is pointless right there. If anything, put the barbed wire. So it, it like I said, I used I did a barbed wire video earlier. Use the barbed wire so it cuts off the potential angles people can get on you. They have to punch it and then you know where they're coming in from. Then you know they're they're kinda toast. Uh same one here. Put barbed wire, uh lesion mines. Bring a lesion on outback as much as you can. Uh make the rotate right here. This is a common rotate. Some people don't make it sometimes. If you have an impact, ask a cav, ask a vigil. If they don't do it, then unlucky. Um, but you are smoke, so you wanna. You, you could reinforce this off, but if some if you see some team is not reinforcing off anything, um, you wanna get this main wall reinforced. Re, uh, rotates always on the right side, right side, not the left, not the middle. Reinforce off the middle, and then make the rotate on the right side. So let's say um, you struggle, uh, like the enemy's just rushing in sight. You don't know what to do. Teams are dying off the bat. You're kind of losing as well. Well, you get to see it like this. Everybody has a head, it can all be clicked once and they will all die no matter how good you are at the game, no matter how bad you are. Um, if they are running in, use use your brain. If the first round they bum rush you from the backside, let's say they, they run up the stairs, or they jump in this window, or they jump in the dorms window, you know, it's really hard to watch all of it. Um, normally there's not really a, a bull rush, it's just because, you know, it's pretty hard to rush bull. But some people like to kind of swing on uh, this doorway. You know, like, that's the thing about Outback, you know, it's just, um, it's really like uh, clo close combat. But the way you can start uh, removing those rounds and winning them is to try to, um, see where they're coming in from hold an un unexpected angle if if the ash keeps rushing in sight if she keeps coming up these stairs uh try maybe try to put a, a goo mine or a lesion mine there uh, but your job of smoke is to uh either play piano or play somewhere for entry denial do not be afraid to use your smokes off early uh you can put a shield right here to put a shield um in a in a spot where it's awkward but at the same time, that's what makes it, people have the utility burn, they have to throw stuns at you, the grenades at you. Um, your main job uh, at, on defending Outback is to hold the site, obviously, but keep keep it so the attackers have to clear roamers, and they have to take the gunfight to you while you're in sight. When they take the gunfights with you and you're in sight, that means um, you did your job correctly. That means you, like they have, you have your utility, it's basically home alone at that point. You're... You have your shield, you have your smokes. Um, you should be able to kill all of those people because those attackers will have nothing. Let's say if they keep jumping in this window, um, put a leash in my there. If they do manage to jump in, uh, I would I would just let them have it and just uh, try to contest it if if you can. Um, I'd be set right here and just shotgun them when it comes through. You know, uh, like I said, there's a, a lot of ways where you can attack this site, but it's up to you to know where they're doing it and how you can counter it. Use your utility. Um, like I said, uh, as smoke, you want to stay alive. You don't want to peek stuff. If someone's coming from piano, you don't want to be peeking stuff. That's that's a big problem a lot of anchors do. They die off early, they try to get a kill, and it's not going to work out. You really have to know how to be passive and aggressive with smoke. Um, Braxton makes really good videos on that. You should go check him out. You know, I'll put his link in the description. Oh, bandwave right there. Let's go, let's go party. Um, party is a little bit easier or harder um 
if Echo's banned, most likely he's banned. Uh, you can use a Maestro, a Legion, some sort of info op, even like a, like a let's, let's go with Legion. You can even go Jaeger, Bandit, juice any operator you want. But the main priority on party is to even work for the last 30 seconds. The last 30 seconds attacking the site is so hard. The defenders will win about 10% of the time, or 90% of the time, and the attackers will win 10%. So, your main job is to stay alive. If you're roaming, if you're roaming downstairs, or if you want to roam back here, please be smart with your life. If you get droned out, just dip, rotate back, come back to site, and then you waste a good chunk of time. Uh, reinforce off these two walls. Uh, if you don't reinforce off games, then you're kind of giving them free, uh, free take of bull. Um, shark as well. So the, the three main ways of the attackers come in from is either garage side, shark side, or bull and game side. So I'll, I'll tell you how to counter all of those. If they come garage side, have somebody sit, sitting uh, right here or garage stairs. Put goo, goo mines over there. Um, if you want, you can uh, reinforce off this garage wall. Reinforce, uh, someone have, can reinforce off that. Barricade off those windows down there or doors on there. Put a goo mine down there. Then boom, easy. You will you will be able to hold garage. Um, watch the window run-ins. Um, be careful of choosing your gunfights. Uh, watch out for nades. You know, simple garage stuff. You will you will get better. Let's say if they're jumping an electrical window, put a goo mine or barbed wire or hold a tight angle. When he jumps in, pre-fire that and he'll die. Um, they should be jumping in the window first place. Let's say if they're coming through shark, right? Um, if they're coming through shark and they keep running in here, if it doesn't, it is. You don't want the attackers to have this, have this uh, area. Like this is kind of like no man's land. Defenders or attackers don't really sit here. Um, but you know, if if you can try to hold this angle, but be careful, you are exposed to games. Uh, try to hold this angle that he runs in. Free pick. But if they are coming up the stairs and they already have the control, let them have that control. Do not contest it. Do not peek it. You will die. And that's not good. You want to use your utility. Wait for them to come to like at least like right here. Because then once they're right here, they're, they're, they're like they're kind of stuck. But they shouldn't be here in the first place until the last 30 seconds. And that's when playing time is really crucial and not giving up your life early. If you give up your life early on this map, you will, you will most likely lose the round. Because you need the manpower and you need people to uh, help defend here. So, if you really like don't know what to do on this map, just stay in sight. Get on, get on cams. Honestly, just hold an angle. Like even if you really like are having a bad day, just sit in this room and hold an angle right here, or just wait for like holding a tight angle. Like, just be smart about peeking. Um, play the like like I said, if you played for the last thirty seconds, you will win that. Well, you will win that round as long as you play smart um, and you don't peek stuff. Uh, if you are roaming. Learn how to come back to this site as soon as possible. Uh, but basically, uh, like what makes Outback so good is just how many angles you're exposed to. Um, so really know those angles and you have to play a lot. You don't have to die a lot. So that's basically it for party. So let's get into uh, compressor, defending compressor. So compressor and gear. You could either be roaming or you could be basically sitting in sight or the convenience store. So callouts, 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 callouts. You need to know callouts on this map. If you don't know callouts, then please go to a custom game or just look at your compass and call out whatever you can because information can get you a lot of kills and we need rounds. So compressor, you know, we want to reinforce off the triple wall, uh, put some barbed wire at the entrance. Um, always like barbed wire is really good on this map just because how many doorways and windows it can give away an enemy's position. Um, like even right here, like if you like, like I said, barbed wire is really good if you use it correctly. If you use it, if you just put it right here, they're just gonna get punched it for free. You'll know that they're there, but it really didn't do anything. All all it did was just like you know nothing to the the, the attackers would get it for free. But if you put it in the hallways like this, uh, maybe a little bit further up, then it will really help. Uh, you know, attackers not getting the site too early. Um, for compressor, compressor reinforce off garage wall, um, if you want. But uh, main main priorities are the ones in sight. So vertical gameplay on this site is really good. If you are attacking, use vertical gameplay. If you are defending, prevent as much time as you can from the attackers doing that. So let, let's roam on this site. Um, uh, for a, qu a quick rundown. If you are anchoring on the site, your main priority is to keep the enemies off these doors. And if they are the enemies are pushing hard on your doors, you you notify the defenders. You call out in game. 
and you tell them, yo, they'll come come back to site. Um, but otherwise, anchoring on this anchor on this side is pretty easy. But let's talk about the roaming. The roaming is very important on this on this site because if you can get a pick or two and waste time, then they have to funnel in sight. And like I said, for party, this is what makes Outback so hard to attack sometimes. Is, you know, at the last 30 seconds or maybe there's just when you enter in a site, there's just a million different angles you can get shot from. Same with every map, but especially on Outback where a lot of the a lot of the sites are doorways and all that. Um, so if you're roaming, you want to reinforce, obviously, put your utility down. And after that, just be a big time waster. Do not even try to challenge people. Just like if you get droned out, let's say let's say you're roaming over here, right? You're sitting right here, you know, 20 seconds to the round. You get drawn out from piano. What do you do here? Well, you could either um, go to another room. You could hide in here. But the bad thing about hiding in this room is people can pinch you from the other side. And you're kind of stuck in here. So uh, that's why map knowledge is really important. Honestly, dipping the hatch like this, boom. You just, they have to still drone off the top floor. And you just waste another 30 seconds. Let's say they get they, they get control of that and they start moving into party and they do a vertical a vertical play right then you start flanking up here you, you flank up here uh, if you get spotted by a drone then go but go back down or you can full commit you can either full commit or you can just dip um coming through this then people kind of flank watch you that means another person's not doing anything and then you just sit here you waste time you literally don't have you just you just have to be existent if you die off early on the room, especially on this site. That means it's one less person to worry about, one less roamer to worry about. Okay, look, let's say last 30 seconds, we don't have to worry about our flank. We can just go and attack site, and that's it's just more of a chance for attackers to win. Let's say it lasts 30 seconds, right? And there's a buck above, and there's two people on the compressor doors, right? So what I want to do as a roamer, if it's a three on three, I would try to take out the guy above, and then immediately just sprint back to site. Uh, once you get the buy above, now the defenders are attacking and are uh, challenging these guys right here. And then you come back here and you just you just like get your free picks. Like I said, staying alive and wasting time is more important than getting a 4K on defense. So that's that's uh, it for my Outback tutorial on defense. I hope it did help you guys a little bit. I know it was a little vague. It could be, but that's where your game sense comes in. And you will know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure about 50% of you guys already know what I'm talking about. But that's it for my Outback tutorial. If you guys do have any more questions. Or uh, if you want to see more gameplay on Outback me playing. I do stream almost every day. Um, if I'm not streaming then I'm probably at work. Um, but I appreciate you guys very much for tuning in to the videos. We are all, By the time this video gets up we might already be at 1,000 subscribers. So I appreciate you guys very much. And have a good day. And comment your next map you want me to do.